Shalom. First and foremost, <clears throat> I'd like to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahusha, Bahashem, Racha Kodash, the unto the elders and the apostles, the dual over the tabernacle of David, which are the elders and the apostles. Of a great millstone. Greetings and salutations to you, Akim, that are upholding the testimony of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, in truth and in sincerity. <clears throat> Do not compromise. This is it. This is it, brothers. This is our last chance to get it right. This is our last chance to show ourselves worthy. This is our last chance to, uh, before we are completely encircled and annihilated by the enemy, we must break the line. We must escape. And there's only one path. It's only one path we can take to break the encirclement. And as Jehovah Shah said, ye know the way. As he also said, I am the way. And that path is through the suffering, the sacrifice. In the following of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. This is the book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 13. Let us walk honestly as in the day. Let's get that term walk, which is uh, peripateo. To walk, to make one's way. Yahweh Shah said himself, he is the way. Progressed. So we're supposed to be growing in this thing. To make due use of opportunities. The Lord gave us talents. We must, we must bring forth fruit in an increase from which the Lord has granted us. If he gave you the capabilities of prophecy, you must prophesy. If he gave you the, the uh, physical finances, you must utilize it and allocate those uh, in the brotherhood accordingly. You must be charitable, whether you have small or great. Remember the woman who put the, one penny in the money changer, she was more justified than the Pharisees who brought forth and tied it with mint and, and great substance out of their great substance. It's about the sincerity of this thing of ours. And that's one man we cannot fool, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You can fool yourself before you feel, fool him. That's why the scripture says many men have been deceived by their own vain opinion. And the evil suspicion has overthrown their judgment. We don't want to be accounted in that, in that number. And it's very possible. It can happen to any of us, man. Look at the man who've come before us and how many have fallen from the path of grace. How many have, 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 have ceased to plow the vineyard. This is it. This is it, man. We have to get it right now. There's no turning back. Only for it. Only for it. It says, let us walk honestly. So let us walk. Matter of fact, let's get a little bit more on that, honest, on that, on that walk. It says, to make due use of opportunities. Now, watch this. Hebrew for to live. 
to live. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh, profit of nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Abide in me and I in you. We must abide in the word. We, we must abide in the spirit because that's what's going to bring forth life. We must walk. The scripture says walk in the spirit and fulfill not the lust of the flesh. To regulate one's life. That's going into what? Temperance. To conduct oneself. To pass oneself. What? It says right here one of the words in usage. Be occupied. The scripture says occupy till I come. Walk till I come. Make progress till I come. Make due use of opportunities till I come. Regulate one's life until I come. Let us walk honestly as in the day. Himera, which the day is representing the time of grace period. Right now is it, man. Jacob's trouble is upon the horizon. We all see it. The twilight is very nigh approaching, man. And there will be no turning. But there will be, there's no more opportunities after that, man. There's no more opportunities for repentance. That is the time of great judgment and wrath from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. It says, honestly, all right, as in the day, not in rioting, which is comas, not in rioting, all right, in drunkenness, not in chambering. Now, let's get this term chambering, which is uh, kaite, or as in the top uh, verbiage conjugation, kaitais. Not in chambering, which means what? A place for lying down, resting, sleeping, not being a sluggard in this thing. Give diligence, Akim. All right. Study. Study. The scripture says, study to show thyself approved, man. All right. Prioritize your finances, your time, everything you do according to the spirit, man, and what the Lord has required of us, man. We are not our own. Our body isn't of our own, man. Right, all of us are going to be. This is the time of great temptation. Satan is going to try to sift you, man. He's going to try to sift all of us in in the, in in the dainties in which you desire your lust, and we all have our own lust. And Satan is going to come through us, come for us through the lust in which we have. And you cannot let that overcome you, man. You can't. You can't afford it, man. We're at the end of this thing, man. That's why we need to be abiding in the spirit, abiding in these words, man. It says the marriage of a bed of adultery. All right. So not committing adultery. What? Spiritually or physically, man. All right. Okay. Not committing adultery. Because when you go into that term, um, the previous term, uh, rioting, that's going into the worshiping of gods. It's an act of worshiping gods. Uh, matter of fact, let's get that. It says, a uh, nocturnal and riotous procession of half-drunken, um, frolicsome fellows who after super parade excuse me, after supper, meaning dinner, parade through the streets with torches and music in honor of Bacchus, which Bacchus is a, is a deity, if I'm not mistaken, all right, or some other deity, yep, it says, and sing and play before houses of male and female friends, hence use generally a feast and drinking parties that are protracted till late, um, at night and indulge in um, revelry. And it doesn't necessarily rioting, that's an aspect of rioting, but you can be rioting without 
quote unquote work, worshiping the deity, man. And rioting is, is not of the spirit. You shouldn't, that's out of order, man. All right? Which is celebration. And then that's what niggas do after the club, man. They go to the gas station with their proud, um, arrogant spirits and they riot, you know? And that's what these people do for um, these um, holidays, for the New Year's, you know? Which is going is 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 is, is exactly what you know with dealing with worshiping deities, man. It says and drunkenness, not in chambering, and wantonness, not in strife and envying. But put ye on the Lord Yahweh Shemashiach, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. You got to, the flesh got to put a back seat, man. Whatever it is that's holding you back from being the greatest servant of the Lord that you can be, whatever it is that you're, that, that's, that's, that's taking front seat with you and, you know, you're serving the Lord, but you're also serving your belly. You got to put it to the back seat, man. It's not the time for that, for the, um, for, uh, for in, in, indulging in what your flesh desires, man, that's going to get us killed, man. That we're not going to make it if we do that. We have to just give it all to the spirit, man. Give it all to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. All right? Because it's about to be a famine out here, man. It's about, it's about to be great pestilence out here. And we have a lot to make up for because our sins are great. It says, make not provisions, which is pronoia, forethought, providential care to make provision for a thing. So don't be, don't, don't situate and organize your livelihood um, after the flesh, but after the spirit. The spirit, the spirit, the spirit, feed the spirit, man. All right, because if you feed those demons, man, they're going to destroy you. They're going to destroy you. We have examples. The many men who who fallen out this truth, they fed their flesh, man, and they were destroyed because of it. They're not even in the truth anymore, man. Could you imagine that? It can happen to you too. It can happen to me too. To fulfill the lust thereof, which is um, epiatomia, epiatomia, lust, desire, craving, longing, desire for what is forbidden, lust. All things is lawful for me. All things are not ex expedient. Woman, that's a big one. That's that's one for, for that can be one for all of us, man. Because we're all men here. But if you're if you're scheduling your day and scheduling, excuse me, if you're scheduling how you operate in this society after getting some tail, all right, after pleasing a woman, after you know, you know, you know. Fulfilling your desires with women, then you're not gonna make it, man. You're not gonna make it if you're doing it after food. You're not gonna make it if you're doing it after carnal gains and 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 carnal uh, substances. There's nothing wrong with having a woman or dealing with women. There's nothing wrong with having carnal substances, but. When you make provision, when you make a provision for it and you prioritize that and you put the spirit in the back seat, we're not in the time of, of fulfilling the lust of the flesh, man. We're in the time of war. When you when when men are at war, when you when you're being when you're being besieged, this is we're in siege warfare. Esau is besieging us. Who the fuck is worrying about getting some tail 
when the enemy is at the gates on all corners, man. We're trying to break the front. All right. Do, do you think the um the Germans, when they were encircled in um in certain Germanic forests in World War II, you had people, civilians and soldiers encircled in forests, all right? Encircled in, in wooded area, encircled in, in certain cities, encircled in Berlin. Who the hell was thinking, let's deal with Berlin. Who the hell's thinking about getting some tail while the Russians are shooting Stalin's organs throughout the countryside and now in the inner city of Berlin? Who the hell is thinking about that, man? Who the hell is thinking about a car? Who the hell is thinking about clothes, man? That's the type of mind frame we got to put on, man. All right? And I make a carnal comparison for a spiritual purpose, man. It's the book of 2 Peter, <clears throat> chapter 1, verse 3. And this is the time period in which we're living in, man. We're living in, in, in order to survive in what the time era we're living in, we have to go, we have to walk according to the book of 2 Peter, chapter 1, verse 3. It says, according as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto life. Going back to that term, what? Walk in the, oh, well, um, essentially walk in the spirit and fulfill not was, matter of fact, we just went to the scripture where it said walk, all right, where it says what? It says um, um, Hebrew, from the Hebrew to live, all right? It says, according as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto life, which is the path, the testimony, the gospel, the apostles and elders who have who have been set up to break down these things for us, man. And godliness through the knowledge of him that have called us to the glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. The promises of the kingdom of heaven, man, that's not going to be granted to us easily. It says, through great tribulation shall they enter to the kingdom of heaven, man. But it's, it's possible. It's plausible. And it's only possible for us, man. Everybody else, they can't get this kingdom, man. All right? These, these heathens, they can't get it. These regular niggas over here calling on Christ, over here talking about taking the vaccine and the microchip, they're not going to get the kingdom, man. But we who, who have the path, who can see, we must walk on the path in which we see and continue on that path. Not stagger as, stagger as those who are drunken in the night, but put on the, as the children or the, may I say, the armor of light, which is Yahweh Shai. As is written, I am the light of the world. He that abided in me shall not walk in darkness, man. It says, verse 4 it says, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, which is a nature that is not where your flesh is prioritized over the spirit. Divine divinity. Matter of fact, let's get that. Divine nature. If you, if you want divine intervention, okay, then you have to be a partaker of the divine nature. Man, fuck the flesh, man. The flesh is going to get us killed, man. Theos. Theos. Which, a general name of deities, which that is a context in which it could be used in the Greek. All right. It, now, this is the, the proper context in which it was written. Spoken of... The only and true God, all right, 
which is essentially the divine nature is the, the is the godly nature of of, of Mashiach. All right, that's why it says of 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 Mashiach or the Messiah, of the Holy Spirit and the Father, which all these things are legitimate. Now they're not one entity like like the Christians will profess. The Constantinians, I don't even like to call them Christians. They're Constantinians. All the Baptists and the Methodists and the Catholics, you're Constantinians. You're not Christians. All right. This is a heavy scripture, man. It says, the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Escape. Escape. The we Remember, the weapons of our warfare are not, uh, not spiritual. I'm um, excuse me. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but spiritual. All right. Uh, it says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. All right. But through um, the principalities and spiritual wickedness and high places, man, which principalities goes into demons. All right. And spiritual wickedness in high places, man. All right. So which is, is your mind. All right. Which Esau Edom, the elite of Esau Edom is pushing out this wicked vibration on the earth. And you have to counter it with the spirit, man. Otherwise, you'll be consumed by it. All right. This warfare is it's not about Esau coming in with his troops and the Gurkhas and the Marines. That's a part of it. But the greater aspect of the warfare is what goes on within your mind. How you deal day to day to prepare for that day, because that day will come when the soldiers come. But if you if you have prepared accordingly, you'll be able to be escaped through divine intervention. Through spiritual powers, you'll be able to um, combat the enemies uh, and the ops and the opposition that comes before us, man. Famine is the opposition. You can't you can't fight famine with a gun. All right. OK, these diseases and pestilence, those are oppositions. But you need the spirit of the Lord to give you access and power to overcome these things, man. All right. Do not do not allow your appetites to overcome you and take away your salvation, man, because they will. <clears throat> and besides this, giving all diligence, all diligence, all diligence, all diligence. What is the year that the apostle has proclaimed? Proclaimed year of the of the hastening of the coming of our Lord Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. This is the year of the hastening of the coming of our Lord Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. Verse five it says, and beside this, giving all diligence. Let's get that term diligence. See, this is the time period we're living in, man. This is it, which is spude. Haste with haste. Giving diligence, man. Year of, of, of hastening, year of giving diligence. This is the year of giving diligence, man. Earnestly, diligence. Earnestly in accomplishing, promoting. That's why we're doing a video day and you other camps, you scoff and you laugh and you mock at it. But you're not hastening the day. You're not considering the gravity of the time in which you're living in. And that's your lot to fulfill. He says, or striving after anything to give all diligence, interest oneself most earnestly, man. Speed. Hmm. And besides this, giving all diligence and making haste to add to your faith virtue, 
So making haste to add to your faith virtue. Arete. Which is virtue is modesty, man. Virtuous course of thought. All right. Feeling in action. Moral goodness. Purity. We got to be pure, man. Pure mind, heart, and spirit. Don't let Satan overcome you, man. Come on, Akim. We got this, man. We didn't make it this far to, to, to compromise it and be destroyed, man. It's time to put in more. It's time to add more fire into the kindle, man. It's time to take it to another level, man. It's not time to be stagnant. It's not time to be okay with what we've already been doing. We got to do more. We haven't been doing enough. We haven't been doing enough, man. We got to do more every single day we wake up and we get out this get out our bed and we lay and we and we and we and we, and we uh lay on our play, on our prayer mat and face the east. We got to give more, man. It has to be more fasting, it has to be more praying, it has to be more charity. All right? It has to it has to be more giving diligence, it has to be more lessons, it has to be more studying. It has to be more virtue. Matter of fact, we're gonna, we're gonna, this is what we have to give more in. <laughs> right here. And beside this, giving diligence, giving all diligence. All, why did he say all? Giving all diligence. Giving all diligence, man. See, people read these scriptures, but they don't understand the gravity of them, man. It says, to your faith, we got to have more faith. Add to your faith virtue. And it says what? Add. Add means more. You have to add more and more and more. It says... And it reads, it says, faith virtue into virtue knowledge. Grossis. Grossis. All right. And it reads, it says, verse six, into knowledge temperance. Let's get that term temperance. It is a very important term. Very important. Which is ekratia. Self-control. You have to have self-control in this thing of ours, man. The virtue of one who masters his desire and passions, especially his sensual appetites. And that's that script, that's that's speaking to me, you know. That's speaking to me, and I know it's speaking to other brothers as well. Because if it's not, you're not in the right mind frame, man. All right, what we're doing is we can never look at as what we're doing is enough, man. We all we always have to give more, man. And it reads, verse seven. Hmm. And to godliness, brotherly kindness. Excuse me, verse six. And to knowledge, temperance. And to temperance, patience. So he's saying that, nah, you got to get that too. And to temperance, patience. And to patient godliness, which godliness is going into um, fear in the heavenly father, reverence for the Lord, man. It says, and to godliness, brotherly kindness. Because if you fear the Lord, what? You're going you're gonna to have brotherly kindness. All right. It says into brotherly kindness, charity. All these are imperative. If you're, if you're missing any of these things, you can you can kiss salvation goodbye. I'm, I, I'm gonna tell you like that. If you're missing any of these characteristics and attributes, you can you can just you can say goodbye to salvation. Into kindness, charity. For if these things be in you and abound in you. This is Paul keeps talking. Excuse me, Peter keeps talking about it increasing. You have to add more. Abound means to increase, magnify. It says, for if these things be in you and abound in you, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful. What did John the Baptist say? He said, wherefore, brother, wait, excuse me. He said, um, he said, bring forth fruit meant 
met, meaning acceptable, for repentance. All right? Okay? Met for repentance, meaning bring forth sacrifice, bring forth works that's worthy and according to the spirit of repentance. That's why the apostles say a lot of these guys don't know what they're involved in in this thing, man. All right? And I pray that the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshat, increase my understanding of what I'm involved in, man. Verse, verse 9, it says, But he that lack of these things is blind and cannot see afar off. That's why you got these people want to continue in this world and in this, in, in, in this society, man. All right? These people wor worried about the affairs and affections of this world, man. All right? It says, And hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Wherefore, the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. And I remember, I remember when Pastor Gabar read this in the at a um in a live in the live um street teaching, man. I remember when I first started watching Great Millstone, and I remember when he read that scripture and it, it spoke so vehemently to my spirit, man. He said, give diligence to make thy calling and thy election sure. And we got to have that same fire that we had when we first came in, man. Matter of fact, we got to have an even more animated fire, just now more tamed and um, with wisdom. All right? Because when we first came in, we had a zealous fire. All right? This fire... Yes, have zeal, but do not have zeal in which is not tamed. All right. Verse 11. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Mashiach. The book of Philippians, chapter 3, verse 8. Yet yeah, doubtless, and I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Mashiach Yahweh, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but done, that I may win Mashiach. Give all praises, honor, glory, and worship. To Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, Ahashem Recha Kudash, the ones to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, Akim, man. Keep fighting, keep the faith. Shalom.